channel uh, if you just go to support team and ask them like for this lab they will tell you that this lab having the bug but i will show you the alternate way to solve this lab so just click on this uh, ultra setup link and open your account copy the workshop bakery from here you can select anything and if you s watch my previous video and uh, uh, on this page the page was different and now it's different so yeah so now we are now click on the free and uh, now the most important thing click on google cloud select your it, it already it automatically choose your uh, nearest location and then you have to scroll down a little bit and change the cluster name with this okay so i think i have the one space okay so click on create cluster and it will take some time likewise and click on the database and it will take some time to load and now copy the bakery from here wait for a few seconds your cluster has been created so wait for a few seconds guys it's done click on browse collection still working please wait I should click on the refresh button and let's see okay so it's taking some time Oh, so now it's done click on add on data click on database now click on collection for cake and click on create uh, sometime when you trying to click your uh, database it give the error so no need to worry just wait for a few minutes and you are good to go after that try to create uh, again now click on insert document as we done in previous lab copy here click on insert it's done now scroll down a little bit copy this thing again click on insert and click on insert and done now the copy the order id of chocolate cake and paste somewhere as i'm doing here now we need to create one comment database now so just copy this over here and click on collection name and just create 
operation process now scroll down a little bit copy this thing it will take some time and now it's done click on okay so make sure that you click on comment and then click on insert document likewise and copy your id from here and uh, paste over here for name you can give any name as i am giving quick lab quick lab and uh, for comment subscribe just click on insert so it has to be done okay it's done now app engine click on bakery so just click on app service so now just click on next in place of application name replace with bakery click on save and click create app close this thing out okay now what we have to do we have to create rules okay so now click on rules cross this thing click on cake now read all and click on add, add present rule okay as then click on comment you can cross this out click on comment read and write all click on add present rule now click on deploy so what how can we do now just click on here scroll down little bit and click on deploy it start deploying now generate a schema it's deployed so now click on schema first of all cl uh, click on cake then click on generate a schema and generate a schema from sampling and click on save okay then uh, click on comment again click on generate a schema now click on manually generation and from here you copy this thing this json code make sure you like this now click on save and then click on add relationship and simple click on add relationship from here cake id and object id bakery and click select cake it will take some time and id cross verify with this click on add save data save save the uh, draft click on review and deploy so it must have to be done now query data with graphql so just copy this thing and uh, search for graphql here it is now copy this and run here and now you have done with your steps now just the last thing authentication so i will i, I will recommend you to please open this thing in new tab i will let you know why i'm saying that once you open go to the edit button of api key enable this toggle save draft review and deploy scroll down and click on deploy now click on create api just right type api key and click on create okay so here it's done now verify your lab before doing this step you need to do one thing come on your cloud shell open your cloud shell terminal and just copy this commands i will sh share the link on description box and make sure that you open this link in normal window not in incognito window just run this those command click on authorization it's and then copy this thing and uh, wait for a few second
and it's done now open your editor click on open in new window uh, wait for a few seconds and then click on here src then environment and open the file name called just wait for a second for me it's taking so much time okay environment production .ts. open this file and here we have to place some data so we have copy the api key from here so just copy this api key that's why i told you to open the api key in new tab api key now graphql uh, endpoint copy this and paste over here now how can we find uh, app id so for that you just need to click on altas at last and uh, you will see oh sorry on app service click on app service and you see the bakery from here just click on total app user and you will get the app id from here and uh, paste over here okay so now you are done make sure you copy the correct oh, yeah right now click on view command petal and search for cloud run and select the deploy to cloud run the fourth one and now it will take some more time so you need to copy this service name it will ask to select the project and click on that if you have done the previous lab you know what i am doing and it will be easy for you now replace the service name here scroll down cl click choose the cloud build wait for a second and now click on deploy so it will take four to five minutes to deploy so meanwhile we can do we can move ahead with our next steps like this so just search for cloud function and open this in new tab and uh, click on mongodb graphql and uh, edit now we have to find api key so where is the api key there are the there is a api key copy this paste over here and mongodb domain just come over here and click on graphql and from here you can copy the mongodb domain it's as simple as that now click on next now please pay attention over here mongodb domain and here paste your mongodb domain and uh, copy your api key from here come over here in the place of api key if you can see here just paste your api key now just click on deploy and wait it will take some time and uh, it will take also some four to five minutes so just wait for and i think this is the last uh, video for the trivia event then we just need to complete uh, these quizzes i guess yeah and if you can see i have done that uh, this lab already okay so uh, we don't know how much time the google team take to 
fix this lab so that's why i'm making this alternative video and i think it must be helpful for you So it it is deployed and if I just come over here and click on check my progress it will not give the score so what I just wait for this thing or uh, let me try one thing click on test test function and it must give the output yeah we have got the output it's fetching the logs if I just click on check my progress now okay we have to wait for uh, okay it's deployed and uh, it's fetching the output if uh, just click on and now it's done just click on check my progress for three to five times and you will get the score but please make sure that you have done these steps and as well as your deployment has been successfully done hope you like the video thanks for watching guys have a good day congratulations